Hello, in this video we're going to solve this equation for the value of x. Let's go ahead and do it. Solution. So the x we're looking for is right here and it's trapped inside all of these natural logarithms. So the first step is to eliminate these natural logs. Recall there is a super powerful formula. If you have e to the natural log of x, that is equal to x. And this formula is true because e to the x and the natural log of x are inverse functions. This is basically saying that they undo each other. You could think of this as cancellation. So let's go ahead and write down our original equation again. We have the natural log of the natural log of e to the negative x, and that's equal to the natural log of 3. So to get rid of the natural log, we have to put an e on both sides. That process is called exponentiation. So I'm going to go ahead and put an e here and put an e here. And what happens is these go away. And this entire piece here, that's your x. So we're left with the natural log of e to the negative x. And then over here, this entire piece here is your x. So that's simply 3. And now we can use a very similar formula, which says if you have the natural log of e to the x, that that is equal to x. And again, this formula is also true for the same reasons, right? The natural log of x and e to the x are inverse functions. Essentially, they cancel each other. So here, this is our x. So all of this just becomes negative x. By using this formula, again, our x, is this here and it's this here just applying the formula to what we have here and then here we have three the last thing to do is get rid of this negative one here so we can divide by negative one divide by negative one and then we're left with x equals and then three divided by negative one is negative three and that would be the final answer good luck